2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 1, and it reads, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gods of people here for a bear. Back on it. Just back, back on it. You, you, look, you, you see what's going on? We, we got to constantly remind our people because they fall asleep quick. You know, Jake's attention span, you know what I'm saying, is like, it's, it's, it's very low. They can't even watch a 30 second video, man, without falling a damn asleep, without losing focus, man. Uh, our job is the power side. Do, do you get it? Our job is to tell you what's going to happen before it even happens. Don't, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. Keep your eyes. Let us not sleep as others do. All hell breaking loose and you might have a sunny day in the midst of all of it. Just because it's a sunny day don't mean that the prophecies are not continuing to, to roll pretty much. The prophecies are still rolling, Israel. Don't forget. Let's get it again. Second Ezra 15. Just burning some early morning oil before I head out. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak down the ears of my people. The words of prophecy. Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans. The, the Lord is turning it up. The Lord really turned. This is the year turn up, man. The Lord didn't really turn shit up, man. I mean, excuse my uh, my language or whatever, but the Lord showing up, turn it up, man. You know. Uncovering everything, bringing it all. The Lord bringing it out, man. He bringing it out. He letting you know what's going to happen before it even happened, man. Which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. Let's, let's jump down. Let's jump down. Matter, matter of fact, I'm going to read five and then I'm going to jump down. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All these things are happening right now. All these things, and I don't want to get another scripture. All, all, and I'm going to come right back. All these things are happening right now. You see, the Lord got famines everywhere, plagues everywhere. Shit, economies are crashing at the same time. Look, it, it's, it's really bonkers out here. The love of many didn't wax cold, earthquakes, storms, floods, you name it. Lies every damn well. Let's get this, though, Hosea. Look, look, the Lord bringing it all out. Let's get this, Hosea chapter 1, because we prophesy of everything, right? Hosea chapter 1, verse 10. Yet the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, the Lord is uncut. He bringing it all out. Over here in America, they say the Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans wasn't the children of the Lord. They wasn't the Israelites, right? It's just gibberish, right? It's just fables. You don't hush your mouth. You don't, I don't want to hear it. Just stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Take them off the air. They can call themselves black. They can call themselves African-Americans. They can call themselves Latino. They can call themselves whatever up under the sun. But they better not call themselves the Israelites. Don't you let them do it. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. What did the Lord say? Would the Lord say, yet the yet the number of the children of Israel, with everything that's going on, this is going on too. The Lord is revealing who his people are. In the midst of wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes, storms, floods, chaos, violence, crime, lying ass politicians, everything going on. Gender wars, class wars, civil wars, economic wars. Yet the number of the children of Israel, a people before us a place shall be as the sand of the sea because they have been scattered. Israelites everywhere. Scattered, pursuing the Deuteronomy 28. I think it's 64. The Lord said, matter of fact, let's get it right quick. I'm going to be jumping around. I'm going to be jumping around and I'm going to be here. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be everywhere. That's how, that's how the Lord told us to read the Bible. And guess what? The Hebrew Israelites, the man of the Lord, they're the only ones that can break down this Bible. They're the only ones. That's another clue that lets you know who the true biblical Hebrew Israelites are because they're the only ones that can break down this Bible the 100% correct way. You see, Deuteronomy 28. I just want to get it because it says Israel was scattered, right? They were scattered. Let's get. Let's go. We're going to prove it. This is Deuteronomy 20th chapter. You know it's talking to the Hebrew Israelites. Read verse 1. Listen to this. 
Deuteronomy. It, it says Israel shall be of the sand of the sea. We're going to show you why, right? Deuteronomy 28, 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So you got Israelites to look like all these nations up under the sun. And the Lord shall scatter thee. Who did the Lord scatter, man? That lets you know who the Hebrew Israelites are. See? And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. From the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. So let's go right back. I want to go right back. Let's go right back. This is Hosea 1 and 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be at the sand of the sea because we were scattered. You see? Which cannot be measured. That, that was for, that's a, the Lord is beautiful, man. The Lord had the Hebrew Israelites get scattered among these different nations. So, so Sleazy wouldn't be able to kill us all off, man. You see? That, that's that's the one of the main reasons why. I mean, it's part of the curses, of course, but that's another reason why. So it wouldn't be done away with, which the Hebrew Israelites won't gonna never be done away with anyway. But so into um, what is it? Um Malachi three and six. You see, the Lord changes not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. The Israelites are as the sand of the sea, right? Which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass. So you can't that that sense is nonsense. That census is nonsense trying to measure somebody, trying to number somebody. Come on, man. You can't number. Where, where's the sand of the sea, right? And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Where did that happen at? Over here in America, man. They said we wasn't the children of the Lord. They said we wasn't the Hebrew Israelites, right? They said they we're African. As long as we call ourselves African-American, um, Afro-American, um, um, Afro Latino and all this other crap. You know what I'm saying? They don't mean nothing. By words, proper. Who was who was those by words and proper? So in the Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter, um, uh, only curses part of 15 on down. Who was given by words and proverbs? You see, you see, the Israelites, man. There in Babylon the great America, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. So it's going to come out. You can't stop it. It's bound to come. It was bound to come out, man. Who we are, it was, it was bound to come out. Ain't nobody stopping nothing, man. So let's go back. I'm going to go right back down, I'm saying, to um, Second Ezra. The Lord, bring, the Lord is beautiful, man. The Lord said, go prophesy. Tell them what's going to happen before it even happened. And that's part of it, man. That's coming back to our nationality now. Now, now in inquiring minds want to know now. Inquiring minds want to know, man. The Lord say he's going to put his spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. You see? Let's get this. Second Ezra chapter 15. Let's jump on down. I want to jump on down because the Lord say he's bringing plagues and all that, right? Let us not forget, Israel. Okay? Let us not forget. Let's see. Um... 15, for the sword and the destruction draw of night, and one people shall stand up to fight against another. Let us not forget that. Once again, with everything that's going on, let us not forget class wars, race wars, civil wars, economic woes, all right? Everything, and then, then that feminine of the word going to hit hard, Israel. Get it now. Get it while it's getting is good. It's pretty much an over form. I'm just all over the place. You see? Just, look, the prophesying. The Lord, the Lord turn, the Lord bring it out, bring it out. That's what I might call this lesson. Bring it out. This is for the sword of their destruction draw of night, and one people shall stand up to fight against another with swords in their hands. Swords represents weapons, right? For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. You got other people exciting other people to exciting other people exciting other people to go against the government, the lion ass government, right? They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You see, nobody ain't gonna get that. That's happening now, man. Nobody ain't giving a damn, man. Throughout the four corners of the earth, but it's gonna mainly hit here in Babylon, right? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, because martial law gonna probably is gonna get that bad. They're gonna they're gonna lock it down. You, we know you tired of us saying it, but they're gonna lock it down eventually, and you are gonna say shit. They told me, according to the Bible, that that was going to happen. And I didn't listen. You see? You see? 
For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. All these things are going to come to pass. You can believe that, Israel. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. I'm, I'm reading it pretty quick because I'm pressed for time. I got I to gotta head out. It's time to go to work. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy. No one's going to have pity on you, man. Whether you're a woman, whether you're a child, whether you're young, whether you're old, it don't matter. Whether you got legs, whether you don't got legs, whether you got arms, whether you got, it don't matter, man. Whether you can talk, nobody ain't going to, man, listen. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy, destroy the house with the sword. Any killing instrument, preferably the gun, the blicky. You see, the, the, uh, the bazoo, uh, whatever they call it, the stick. You see, the, the, the ratchet, you know what I'm saying? And spoil mean to rob their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. It's, it's getting ready to go down. Pe people going to be searching these homes for food, going in and out, looking for canned goods, anything, man. Anything. That, shit, man. Uh, people going to be trying to look for shoes and everything. This, as a matter of fact, let's jump on down. 49. Let's ease on down the road. You see? And the Lord said these things are created for the wicked, right? 49. Second Ezra 15, 49. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death. And who's orchestrating all no, this? The Lord. This is, this is what the Lord told us to go tell our people before it even happened. And you don't take heed, that's on you. That's on you, man. If you don't take heed, then that's going to be on you. Let's get this, though. Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil, meaning bad times? Don't say that heavy persecution is coming. You see, uh, against those that fear the Lord. Pursuant to 2 Edges, the 16th chapter. Look, friends, look, look, friends are going to fight as enemies. Pursuant to um, 2 Edges, the 6th chapter. It ain't going to be no food out here in Israel. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Should the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret. And to his service, the prophets. And that's exactly what we do. We reveal the secrets, the mysteries, the allegories of what's going to come before it even come, man. And, look, and it's on you if you don't take heed. You see? It's not on us. It's on you. Let's get this. I got one more and then I'm going to close out. I got to roll. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The Lord told us to go prophesy. Jeremiah chapter 20. It's going to get bad out here. It's going to get bad. Bad to the bone. All right? Michael Jackson bad. Who's bad? It's going to get bad out here, Israel. Jeremiah 28 and 8. And look, look, the Lord said, give them one. So we have warned you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called the men, women, and the children. Romans to 10th chapter. Remember, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth. So it's no excuses now. Everyone knows who we are now. Everyone knows who we are now. We're the biblical Hebrew Israelites, and the Israelites that don't take heed to this word, the Lord's God, he's going to get you. He's going to get you. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied. They told you what was going to happen before it happened. Remember, 2nd Ezra the 15th chapter, verse 1. The Lord said, go prophesy to my people, both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Because remember, this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Let's just throw that in there right quick. Let's just throw that in there right quick. So I'm, I'm, I'm on a roll. Let's just throw that in there. Stay on fire for the words of the Lord. Stay on fire for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? Kwam Yesha Allah. Kwam Yesha Allah, man. Isaiah 9 and 5. And it reads, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. It's going to say, We go through this all the time, Israel. It's going to say the ancient wars, how they was fought and all that, man. Soldiers stampeding with swords and with shields, with bucklers, you know what I'm saying, with horses, things of that nature, man. Uh, their attire, no saying, soaked, no saying, and blood from being hacked to death. You know, little arms everywhere, shit, legs everywhere, eyeballs, you name it, man. Ear pieces, no saying, ears and noses on the ground, you name it, man. Real gruesome, right? It says, but this, but this war, this battle shall be with burning and fuel of fire. The fire rises, Israel. The fire rises. You see. But this shall be with burning and fuel to fight. This is going to be a nuclear war. You know what I'm saying? A nuclear holocaust. You see? The lake of fire, the missiles, the missiles, the ICBM missiles, the intercontinental ballistic missiles are going to be used. The Lord said, look, that those are the weapons of his indignation, and they shall hurt. And they shall hurt Israel. This is not the time to be playing around. Oh, yeah, let me get this right quick because the Lord said, give him warning.
Give him warning. What I say this lesson is going to be called? Oh, yeah, bring it out. Ezekiel 3. Bring it out. The Lord wanted, the Lord bringing everything out, man. The Lord un uncovering everything. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, a people before some place. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. And that's, that's all. That's what we do. We just give you warning from the Lord, man. Whoever don't like it, look, take that up with the Lord. You see, our job is to give you warning, man. And the Israelites that take heed to the word, may the Lord continue to bless you and your houses, man. The Israelites that don't take heed, you already know what it is. Because look, some believe, you know what I'm saying, the things which were spoken, and some believe not. So it don't even matter at the end of that day, man. Our job is to bring it out. I got, I got one more. I got one more. Let's see what I want. I want to, um, um, it's, it's a whole lot. I guess I'll go here right quick. I guess I'll go here. Second Ezra 16. Let's jump on down. I want to ease on down the road. Second Ezra chapter 16. You'd heard these scriptures before, Israel. Let's see. Um, let's jump on down. Let's see. Second Ezra 16. I just want to hit some points. 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of famine and great death. Remember, we told you these things were going to happen before it even happened. The beginning of wars. Remember, the men of the Lord, they prophesy of wars and evils. And the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils, meaning bad times. What shall I do when these things, look, what shall I do when these evils shall come? Continue to trust in the Lord. Continue to trust in the Lord. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and, and anguish are sent as scourges for a moment. Look, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful or the scourges, meaning the whippings. You see, behold, victuals shall be behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. It's all lovey dovey until it ain't right. And even then shall evils, meaning bad times, grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. These people are gonna bug the hell out. Many of, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. And that's one of the worst ways to go. And the other that escaped the hunger shall the sword destroy. You look, look, look. The Lord told us to bring it out. So we bring it out. You see? And if you don't take heed, once again, that's on you. But I brung it out. The Lord said, bring it out. So I brung. The Lord is bringing it out, man. Bring it out. Shalom.